time to be recording Samson because since the turn of the 20th century, two new editions have appeared of the piece which show all the various versions that Handel used, and particularly the very first version uh, as composed, but also what we're doing, the very first performance of 1743, uh, which is the one that involves the largest number of soloists and the largest number of colours and characters. Uh, so doing a performance from this edition and with the full cast of characters, I think gives a very good idea of the realism of the piece uh, and the broad range, not just of characters and spiritual changes, but also of Milton's original concept of using the unity of time as a way of presenting this drama. So the drama technically takes the same length of time as the actual events of the story did. Take on hell, my task of servile toil. It's a wonderful thing to do this, and it's actually lovely to do it here. We're in a very special church in terms of sort of early music recording, if you like. This is St. Jude on the Hill in Hampstead, and this church has a fantastic acoustic. I mean, it's bigger than Carlisle Cathedral, uh, and you know, it has a wonderful resonance, and it's particularly fun for Baroque strings. There's another reason too, which I think is to do with what I've been interested in for many years, and indeed Dunedin has specialised in over the last 10 years or more, which is experimenting with ideas, historical ideas of the chorus of the 17th, 18th century. Um, and one thing that I've always been very keen to try and explore, but also show, uh, is that the soloists generally are the core of the Baroque and indeed the classical chorus. Um, as opposed to this huge distinction that we get often in modern practice between the amateur chorus, often very good, and professional soloists. Uh, it's a different world, really, in the 17th and 18th century. You have different ranks, as it were, of professionals, from the concertists, the, the lead performers, uh, to the vipianists, the people who fill in and, like apprentices, learn the job. This is exactly how instrumentalists learn, too, and you see exactly the same characteristics there.